Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of determining the validity of equations and inequalities. This is standard 6.10b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 35 of the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have some pictorial representations, some models of expressions. And we have x equals 4, and we need to find how can we get both sides of these equations here to work. So two different ways to solve this. One would be let's just plug and play. So let's just substitute. Let's put 4 in each of these and just see if it equals. Now the thing is, it doesn't really say all of these 4s in A and B are those being multiplied or are those being added. And in this particular type of representation, you don't really show multiplication like this. What you do is if you just stack these x's up next to each other, that means you're simply adding those x's. And we'll show how you can represent those with multiplication a little bit later. But right now we're just adding these x's. We're just going to see, well, do any of these work? So let's just take a look at uh, a. We've got 4 and 4 and 4 and 4. So that's going to be my 16. I'll just put that right here. And you see over here on the right side, we've just got 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. So it's 16 equals 4. That is not going to work. So now we've got B. We've got the same thing. We have a 16 right here equals 1. don't know why anyone would think that would work. That is not going to work. So this one is just slightly different on C. We've got this 4. Then we've got these two little ones right here. So that is going to be 6. we got at least a different number here. Now we've got 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. That's 5. Really close. So let us hope our answer is D. So i got 4 plus 4. That's your 8. Uh, look at this. We've got two sets of 4. So we've got 4 and 4, and that is going to make 8. So that D is going to be our answer. Now, that is simply substitution. We're just going to take the X, replace it in any equation with the number 4, and see what works. There is a different way to do this. Let me show you how you can represent each of these with multiplication if you want to, because we've got 4 X's going back to A. So what we can do is we can say 4 X. That's how we show multiplication here. We take the x's and then we multiply it by how many times that x shows up. That's 4. And then we could say, this one we could say 4 times 1 if you really wanted to. Which we know 4 times 1 is 4, but that's really what that is. 4x times 4 times 1. And we look at b here. We've got 4x and it's just one set of 1 which is just one, but we can show it in the multiplication right there. So we've got four. And C, it's a little bit different. We got two sets of one. And then we've, we've got five sets of one over here on the right side. So that's where it's close, but not exactly right. So here we've got two X's. So we're going to say two X equals, I'm going to do it like this right here. I'm going to say there's eight. We'll just put those all together. Eight sets of one. Now, if you were to write all of this, how would you use the um, properties of operations in order to isolate the variable? Well, we know the answer is D, so let's look at that one. We want to isolate X, and it's being held by a two times. And the opposite of multiplication is division. Now, we can't just divide one side of the equation without dividing the other side of the equation. So in order to keep things balanced, always think of a little balance right here. We have to divide both sides by 2. Now we still have a balanced equation. So this 2 divided by 2 is going to cancel each other out. And this is going to be x equals 8 over 2, which equals 4. Our answer is D.